Hi, viewers welcome to my YouTube channel with another amazing video. 14 Early Cancer Symptoms You Shouldn't Ignore Because of improved cancer screening in the 21st century, people with cancer are living longer than ever after being diagnosed. Screening now catches diseases before they progress and treatment is started on time. There is obvious weight loss. Experiencing one of the following symptoms does not mean you have cancer. Cancer Most people do not report any symptoms that specifically indicate the disease. Some cancers are more common in certain age groups. During this time, if any symptoms appear or persist, a doctor should be seen for further evaluation. Following are some common symptoms associated with cancer. Early signs of cancer. 1. Abnormal pain mortgage. Most women experience severe menstrual cramps at times. But persistent pain or changes in your menstrual cycle can be a sign of uterine or ovarian cancer. Many women experience constant cramping before and after their period. If this is out of the ordinary, you should check with your doctor. If there is pain in the vagina and changes in the menstrual cycle, it can be a sign of cervical, uterine, or ovarian cancer. Although you may feel bloated during your period, if you feel bloated for more than two weeks, it could be a sign of ovarian cancer or stomach cancer. 2. Changes in bathroom habits. Significant changes in sperm function can indicate colon, prostate, or bladder cancer, among other cancers. Other symptoms include persistent constipation or diarrhea. Black or red blood in your stool, black, teary stools, more frequent urination, and blood in your urine are common symptoms of cancer. Everyone has diarrhea or constipation from time to time. But if you notice a significant change in how often you go to the bathroom, it's time to talk to your doctor. This can include urinating more often or always feeling like you have to go to the bathroom, as well as blood in your stool or urine. These changes may indicate colon, prostate, or bladder cancer. 3. To suffer from flatulence. Everyone often feels bloated. But bloating for more than two weeks can be a sign of ovarian cancer as well as various stomach cancers. Especially when we eat, we often feel bloated from one meal to the next. We actually suffer from bloating which is related to the stomach and can also be a symptom of stomach cancer. 4. Difficulty in swallowing. If you feel that food is getting stuck in your throat or you have trouble swallowing for more than two weeks, it could be a sign of throat, lung, or stomach cancer. 5. Breast changes. This includes a new lump, dimpling, discoloration, changes around the nipple, or an unusual discharge that you didn't have before. Although most breast cancer occurs in women, it has also been found in men. It's often impossible to tell a benign cyst from a malignant tumor just by looking. So make sure you don't have any lumps on your breast, neck, or genitals. Talk to your doctor if you notice other changes in your breasts, such as dimpling, discoloration, or discharge from your nipples. 6. Chronic Cough Mortgage a cough that persists for more than two weeks, especially a persistent dry cough, may be a sign of lung cancer. Any cough that lasts more than two weeks can be a sign of lung cancer. And if you are coughing up blood or have chest pain or shortness of breath, contact your doctor immediately. If you experience any of these symptoms, talk to your doctor thoroughly and tell your doctor how often these symptoms occur and how long they have been occurring. 7. Having Chronic Headaches Headaches that last more than two weeks and are not relieved by medication may be due to a brain tumor. If you suffer from constant pain in your head, tell your doctor about it and get it diagnosed. 8. Recurrent fever or infection. Repeated exacerbations of hives, or switching from one infection to another, may indicate an immune system that has been oversensitized by lymphoma or leukemia. If you tend to get infection after infection or are constantly dealing with fever, it could be a sign that your immune system is fighting lymphoma or leukemia. 9. Having verbal changes. Pay attention to any sores or persistent pain in the mouth that causes discomfort. If they persist, it may be a sign of oral cancer. This is especially common in people who smoke or drink a lot of alcohol. All of these indicate different types of oral cancer. 10. Pain in the body. Persistent pain anywhere in the body that has no obvious cause and that you are not taking any medication should be evaluated. There have been cases of cancer patients who had no apparent problem or disease. 
But cancer was also found in them, so most of the pains in our body are those that we do not pay much attention to, nor do we take any special medicine for them, they can be symptoms of cancer. 11 Skin Changes The skin is the largest organ in our body and can contribute to our overall health. Jaundice, which includes yellowing of the eyes or fingers, can suggest a possible infection or cancer. Contact your doctor if you notice any signs of jaundice. 12. Constant fatigue. A sudden change in your energy level, regardless of how much sleep you've been getting, can be a sign of leukemia or lymphoma. This fatigue is not the same as the fatigue you feel after a long day of work or play. This is a very severe type of fatigue that can be an early sign of cancer. Not eating well or eating less can make you feel extremely tired. There are many underlying causes of fatigue, most of which are not related to cancer, but if they are more severe than usual, it needs attention. 13. Stomach pain or nausea. Abdominal pain that lasts more than two weeks can be a warning sign of liver, pancreatic, or various cancers of the digestive system. Abdominal bloating all the time can be inflammation of the stomach or it can also be stomach cancer. 14. Unnecessary weight loss. It fluctuates, but a sudden loss of appetite when you're not trying to lose weight can indicate several types of cancer. Call your doctor first when you lose weight for no reason. If you lose 10 pounds or more, don't worry. However, in rare cases sudden weight loss is the first symptom of cancer, 